What's going on? Welcome back to Training Stocks. Today is October the 9th. I want to give you a quick pre-market update, go over some of the hot movers and what big money is doing today on this fun Wednesday morning. So before I get into any of that though, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off with data points, a key one to watch for today is going to be the meeting minutes and that is at two o'clock. Aside from that, you have a lot of Fed speakers. So that's in among itself going to be a lot of volatility. But tomorrow you do have CPI data and CPI for the most part at least based on articles was the cause and the culprit of the volatility on Monday and Tuesday so you're going to have a lot of last minute jitters associated to that so we'll just have to uh, wait and see quickly looking at that so you kind of have the forecast as being looks like 2.3 month over month is being 0.1 so very uh, very high like no room for error uh, for that but looking at the fear and greed index it is under the greed category so people's appetite for risk is on the table not really apparent so much on the futures so nasdaq is down 0.15 s p it is up 0.01 percent and dow is down 0.11 so kind of all over the place a little bit starting off with sofi it is up slightly because of this news that they just put out so they are launching two new credit cards some bulls might like that bears might see that as taking on more risk i see that as optimistic largely because of the data that's been coming out right consumers are out there earning making the money all the other fun jazz so i think that this is a pretty good uh, thing overall for sofi and its expansion and just another tool that sofi can use to get more eventual or potential members in sofi shorts so shorts have been actually returning a lot over the last little bit over the last two days you can kind of see this dip right here so just watch for them to potentially do the same as well um so yeah that's minor minor but still kind of good so 17.21 percent of the free flow is being shorted just watch for this eight dollars and 39 cents support to hold and then the next target is going to be eight dollars and 81 cents so yeah uh all in all i think sofi is kind of moving in the right direction neo on the other hand is doing the opposite so over the last five days it is down almost eight percent it is down slightly this morning no actual news but it is reacting to this so a lot of chinese evs are down it looks like uh, the eu did reject china's proposal um so yeah it's not the best it literally went from like euphoria for chinese evs or just chinese stocks in general to like now they're just getting tanked and shorts are loving that as well so kind of the opposite to sofi shorts with neo have been doubling down so seven or 12.73 percent of the free flow is being shorted works out to be 169.97 million shares so anticipate them to do the same but right now with that six dollars and ten cents is trading between this s3 and this s2 so six dollars and fifteen cents is going to be the next strong resistance slash target and then five dollars and sixty five cents is going to be the next strong support so kind of just watch for that moving on to altm it is up slightly and that is because of this or so rio tinto to acquire arcadium lithium and based on this it looks like it is a price all cash transaction of five dollars and 85 cents so in theory in my opinion who isn't a financial advisor don't pay more than that 585 but yeah you could see a quick run-up typically it won't ever reach this exact amount in my opinion only because there's going to be that level of uncertainty of it not going through it not getting like the necessary approvals and all that fun jazz even though in here i think it says that they have uh controlling interest so i don't think it would be denied or anything but yeah uh something to kind of consider and based on this as well going over here it's not heavily shorted so ortex is rather slow this morning so uh, yeah it's not that heavily shorted uh, all in all but like i said just kind of just watch for the prices just don't pay more than 558 and then you'll be happy uh, alibaba is down slightly nothing to do with alibaba itself rather just the chinese aspect pulling back so uh not the best like i said and 3.15 percent of the free flow is being shorted shorts haven't really been involved in alibaba that much um, right now with that 106 though it is trading between this s2 and this s1 so the technicals are starting to break down below the pivot point so the s1 is going to be 
105 and then the s or sorry the resistance slash target is going to be 108 so it's just going to trade within that range in my opinion though i think it is going to touch this s2 and possibly even break it and trade between this range for today um so there's going to be a lot of volatility and people i think are going to be um somewhat risk adverse for the most part especially with a lot of the data and right now china just seems to be once again too risky for the broad market tesla is oddly down slightly this morning when they have their big event tomorrow so that one's going to be a big one uh, honestly a lot of people haven't really been talking about it as much as i would have anticipated but right now with that 243 and change it is trading between this s1 and the pivot so 240 is going to be the strong support 250 is going to be the next wrong resistance slash target so yeah let me know you guys thoughts on these stocks is there any other stocks that's floating and broke don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe take advantage of this promo on a side note it does give you five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars so link to that is in the description below and also the comments with all that appreciate all of you guys watching